It was three days of chaos, violence, and death in Brooklyn 30 years ago. During the Crown Heights riots in August of 1991, former police commissioner Ray Kelly was first deputy commissioner at the time. Riots broke out. The neighborhood was in turmoil. And our response, the police response, was slow. The NYPD was blamed for not putting an end to the violence and rioting. It all started when seven-year-old Gavin Cato, who was black, was killed when a station wagon jumped the curb, hitting him and seriously injuring his cousin. It was driven by a Jewish man who was a part of a Hasidic motorcade. Some said a Jewish ambulance crew helped the driver, but not the little boy. That also angered African Americans and Caribbeans living in the community. We were able to bring in more resources in the third day and quell the, uh, the disturbance. But it was a very nasty time. Tensions were already high between the black and Jewish communities in Crown Heights. During the violence, an innocent man, Yanko Rosenbaum, was stabbed to death by 16-year-old Limerick Nelson. The teen did federal time for violating the civil rights of Rosenbaum. Two years after the riots, a 600-page state report blasted then-Mayor David Dinkins and Police Commissioner Lee Brown, both who were African-American, for not protecting life and property and restoring peace. Kelly and other high-ranking officers were also criticized. Kelly says he and his bosses were not to blame for days of chaos. First, let me say that report was a political document. The, neither Mayor Dinkins or Police Commissioner Brown were at fault in that situation. Kelly says the local police commanders in Crown Heights at the time were at fault for not moving in quickly to make arrest. After the riots, the NYPD started a new unit. The sort of control unit put in place because we needed to change how we deployed for major disturbances. Criticizing the current city administration, the former police commissioner says he believes disorder control unit tactics should have been used during last year's Black Lives Matter protest when violence broke out. I think there was a lack of training for disorder in the de Blasio administration. Kelly admits whether it was 30 years ago or now, the NYPD should always be ready to adequately respond to civil unrest and riots, but that's not always the case. Dean Memminger. New York 1.